Hey guys, Dutzels here and welcome back to another episode of... Thanks. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII. Last time we went on a pretty decently large side quest where uh, we ended up in the Wutai area after we escaped from the Shinra attacking Rocket Town. And Yuffie stole all of our materia, which eventually got her kidnapped by Don Corneo for some reason, and then we teamed up with the Turks to take out a dragon that he adopted. This time, we are... We are, uh, yeah, we are just, uh... We're, some, we're just doing more stuff, and I'm out here in the fields of Wutai because I want to manipulate a razor weed because these guys have a enemy skill that we could get. I don't... I don't, uh, I don't really foresee it being that useful of one, but it's called Magic Hammer, and what it does is that it will take 100 MP from a character you used it against, and I accidentally used it against Sid, and not anyone who actually has an enemy skill materia on them, so I guess I'm just gonna take these. I guess if I'm using a magic character and I just don't have anything to do, and, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to keep an enemy alive or something. Maybe I'll use that. But I don't imagine myself using it that much. And, um, don't worry. This episode does have an actual focus. Unfortunately for you, it's another side quest that has to deal with Wutai. But don't worry, this one isn't going to be as long. Because, uh, well, I guess I'll say I did just buy a bunch of equipment from the item shop, so that's pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, we... You might remember that when we went into this, like, town... Not town square, but... Well, it's a square area. You might remember when we went into the giant Wutai Pagoda, there was, an, there was a person at the door asking us if we were a Wutai native. Now, Cloud and Barrett and Sid obviously weren't, but... No Hold on. Ether and uh, Tranquilizer on Yuffie. Alright, now we do have a Wutai native, so let's head into the Pagoda. Oh, Miss Yuffie, will you be climbing the Pagoda today? Yeah, then I, Sacred Gorky, will be your opponent on the first floor. Yo, they call me Shake. I'll be watching your fight with Gorky. Then begin. Yeah, this, okay, power change. This over here. This is a sort of a gauntlet for Yuffie. This is the Wutai Pagoda side quest. Up first, we have Gorky. Now, the materia that I put on Yuffie they're all very deliberate. I'm going to start by... Well, I'm going to put up a big guard, of course, because, like, why, why would you not put up a big guard? And I'm also going to give myself some haste. And then I'm going to... I missed? Okay. And then I'm going to heal myself, because this is a place where HP management is very important. I forgot to put a... I forgot to put a uh, restore materia on myself apparently, so I'm just gonna use White Wind. And yeah, what this place basically is, uh, I don't know why Gorky is spelled like that, but yeah, this is a bunch of different, uh, different combat challenges for exclusively Yuffie. I seem to be taking a lot of damage, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna need to equip my, uh, equip my, uh, Restore Materia. He just used Reflect right there. That is a spell that ref that sends any um, that sends any magic attacks back to the person who used them. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use any of my powerful like trines or aqua lungs or anything. Okay, Yuffie, you're about to die. I also could counter attack on her because why not? All right, White Wind. We need that. And. He's setting up a barrier. I'm just gonna hit you with a greased lightning. Come on, come on. You're you're bound to go down at some point, right? I don't. I can't. T Game over. All right then. 
Well... You know, I was expecting that to go a lot better. Oh, jeez, that... Oh, she's very dead. Okay. Um... I guess I'll take that opportunity to... Uh... To fix my, uh, setup. I swear I had one. Alright, I guess I'll swap this one out for a restore. Anyways, my Materia setup is... According to Jagged.com, which is an online guide that I really like, this is kind of the best setup that I could have. So first off, we have counter-attack to counter-attack. We have HP plus for obvious reasons. We have poison, because there will be certain enemies that are weak to poison. Time to self-buff. Enemy skill for big guard and high damage spells. Restore for restore. And then just a bunch of random materia here for damage. And then Destruct I put in there because there's going to be enemies using a bunch of defensive spells. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to head back here and start my game off better by using, by using Big Guard earlier. I think I need healing items. Really? I think I just need to play smarter. Maybe I should... Maybe earlier off in this, I should be... At least before he puts up his reflect, maybe I should just be spamming magic hammer. Alright. I'm gonna put haste on myself. I, I haven't really done these. I haven't really done any, uh, I guess, test runs within the within the Wutai Pagoda, so I don't know exactly how this is gonna go. I just have a rough idea of how each battle is gonna go. Because in my notes, I just have, like, uh, use big guard and, re and uh, heal when necessary, which isn't that descriptive, I should say. But, uh, okay, we are getting some use of the, um, of the counter attack right there, I guess, to just get some chip damage in. I'm going to hit you with a magic hammer before you have a chance to put up a reflect. Alright, Gorky's skill power is used up. That's good. Okay. I should have been nicer to magic hammer because this is actually kind of useful for enemies that are really magically powerful. Well, now that he is out of MP, he's not going to be able to put up any uh, reflects, so I'm just free to spam Aqua Lung whenever I want. Although I will have to use Cure 2 and stuff like that, because, you know... Alright. Good thing you just keep on trying to use magic attacks, even though you don't have any MP left, so that's nice. And I feel like a, one last Grease Lightning should kill. No, it doesn't? Okay, I'll just it's, spam attack then. Sorry if this is, isn't too exciting, but yeah, the, since a lot of this is one-on-one, -on -one, there's just a lot of back and forth. Alright, nice, nice stuff. Alright, that's a Gorky down. Here I am, Miss Yuffie. Of course. Hmm, I thought you were just a girl, but you handled that pretty well. Let's see how we do on the next one. Alright, so that is Gorky beaten. I'm gonna heal up Yuffie. And then on to the next floor. Alright, Shake. You are next opponent. Who's next? Are you blind? I'm right here. What? I gotta fight a punk? Heh, <laughs> punk? I'm more of an adult than some bimbo girl. Oh my god, Shake. What did you say? Yeah, what did you just say? <laughs> See what I mean? That kind of anger is what makes you so immature. Don't pat yourself on the back until you beat me. Now watch. How about the old... Yeah, about the only thing you do really good is breathe. You sure you want to fight? Stop yapping. Hmm. So someone finally got past Gorky. I guess it's Chekhov's turn. Here I go, brat. Speed change. Opponent number two, we have Shake. I feel like I should actually equip my sense material. That'd be a good idea. All right, let's put up a big guard because, of course. All right, we got big guard and shake. Shake's attacks. Uh, 
they can, they have a chance of inflicting Fury, which if you'll remember from the earlier game, I explained how that was a status ailment that, I mean, it's not technically, it's not technically bad, but it's kind of bad, like, you take more damage, but your limit breaks uh, build up faster, so honestly, like, you're not really losing as much as you could be. Alright, Yuffie's Limit Break is ready. I feel like I should hit him with a magic hammer at some point soon. Okay. Are you serious? I was just gonna use Cure too. Oh, I better not have to fight Gorky again. Oh, okay. I just have to fight Shake again. Alright, let's try. Let's try again. Maybe for this side quest, I should have just like, uh... I should have just like made myself a step-by-step -step process to beating every single enemy here. I mean, technically I do have one, because I do have some strategies written down in my notes. But like, you know, they don't seem to be working as well as I was hoping. Because, you know, I'm dying a lot, which that's not good. Nice crit on the counter-attack, by the way. Alright. What I have written down for Fighting Shake is uses Fury, you take more damage but limits build faster, and just slap him. Which... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be code for he's not that hard, but uh, he's doing a lot of damage right now, and my, my big guard ran out, so I'm gonna have to put that one back up. Good thing it's towards the top. I kind of wish it was sorted alphabetically, that would make things a little easier. Alright, let's cure ourselves, and then hit him with a Greased Lightning. 800 damage, that's pretty good. Misses the Rage Bomber, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to use a Magic Hammer on him. That was a Match or Magic, not a Magic Hammer. Uh, they both have magic in their name. Alright, let's use Magic Hammer on Gork on Shake. Apparently, he still has MP remaining. Um, let's use Cure 2 on ourselves. And I feel like our haste is expired, so I'm gonna use that on myself. Oh, wait, no, it's not. How does haste work? Wait, yeah, why, why do I still have it? Is it, like, lasting between battles or something? Because I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to work, but... Eh, whatever, we beat Shake. Alright, we got ourselves a Turbo Aether for our troubles. Ah, so you can fight a bit. Of course. Oh, 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 it's been a while since I felt pain. Alright, I guess Chekhov is going to be our next opponent. There is a bit of a theme with the names of the people that we are fighting, but I'm not gonna go over it until a little bit later. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Ooh, do I want to keep Fury? I probably don't want to keep Fury because my... Because my primary source of damage is not the limit breaks, but I am far more concerned with staying alive. So, yeah. I'm not gonna use any source items, though, because Yuffie isn't in my final party. Alright, let's fight Chekhov now. And to spectate, we have... Even Shake's been defeated. It's been a while since he had to fight, eh, Chekhov? Unfortunately, this is as far as it goes. Stunive, you watch over there. This ain't gonna happen. I'll teach you about the strength of youth. Keep mouthing off like that, little girl, and you're gonna get burned. I got... I got burn heal. Ho ho ho, we'll see if you still talk like that after you, ta you taste some of my sacred magic. Magic change! Alright. Here we have Chekhov's, and we're gonna start off by using a big guard, and the accessory that I chose to equip Yuki with is the gem ring which we fought which we got from fighting the materia keeper specifically because that stare down which is a paralysis attack now i'm gonna use haste on myself and i already had haste on myself so that was a waste of time 
But I brought Bio kind of specifically for this battle because Chekhov isn't exactly the strongest against Bio, and honestly, I don't know what attacks it has besides Stare Down. I know this is like. I know this enemy type is known for like absorbing and things, but I mean, you're not really doing much. Is this battle free? I feel like this might be kind of free. Okay. Uh, you're not doing any attacks, you're just kind of using Stare Down. What are you doing to me? You're not doing anything. Your Stare Downs aren't doing anything because I have the Gem Ring on. You're not doing anything. Check off, are you broken or something? Now you're poisoned. Uh, I'll grab some MP from you. Alright, you're out of MP now, so I can't farm any more off of you. Alright, absorb. Now that's an actual attack. But you keep on taking more damage through every through every tick of the every tick of the uh you know, um the poison. Alright, we do have Grease Lightning available, so I guess I'll use that. Huh, this battle is going very smoothly. What? I don't know what the deal is with Chekhov. I mean, they, they are just kind of not doing much. Huh. Well, I guess that just gave me the momentum I needed to win. Alright, we got an ice ring. I'm pretty sure that's a ring that nullifies ice attacks. I can't believe you beat me. Of course. This should be interesting. It's been so long since I've had a chance to use my full power. Alright, Staniv. So, I gotta... Alright, let's heal up. The only notes that I... Well, besides the gem, ring, the gem ring part, the only notes that I have for Chekhov are bio equal good. So, I guess even when I was researching this, I was like, yeah, this isn't gonna be hard. Alright, moving on to Staniv. We are going to be under the supervision of... Okay. The rule is the best fighter on each floor will be your opponent. This is a five-story pagoda, but the fourth floor is the highest. In other words, no one has ever defeated me, master of weaponry. You still want to try? Just come on. I like you. Now watch. Weapon change with no spectators. Well, no spectators on the other floors. All right. Staniv. All right. So... Apparently in my notes, I wrote him down as Staniv, and then in parentheses, easy? So, I'm hoping that means good for me. Alright, he's doing melee attacks, so hopefully that means I'll be getting off some counterattacks, but uh, let's just... Uh, I guess let's just use Aqualung and see what happens. Actually, does laser work? It probably doesn't work, because these are all technically boss enemies, right? Yeah, it doesn't work, that makes sense. Alright, War Cry, what does this do? I don't know what that did. What did that did that inflict fury on me? Because that sounds like the kind of thing that would inflict fury on me. I guess I'll hit you with the grease lightning. 850 damage, did that say? I should have equipped sense. This these fights would be slightly smoother. Or maybe I should have just written down their HP and MP. Yeah, that would that would probably work pretty well. Alright, let's hit him with a magic hammer. Uh, I guess some- Oh no! I... It looks like I got hit with sadness because my limit bar is blue now. Alright, that's interesting, I guess. Ooh, maybe- Maybe I could- inf... I could inflict poison on you if that would make things a little smoother? Maybe? Okay, interesting. Um... I guess I'll put up a big guard. In my notes, I did write down heal up for counterattack. So, I guess I was kind of hoping that he would just be... That I would just be rapidly counterattacking him. But I haven't gotten much use out of the materia yet. So, well, we haven't exactly had it for long. So, I haven't really gotten an opportunity to do that. But, uh... I guess I was just kind of expecting that of him. Alright, let's use another magic hammer. Still not fully drained. Th yeah, this 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 battle's kind of free, honestly. He 
he's not really attacking me much, which is kind of weird. I mean, I knew Chekhov wasn't that... <laughs> wasn't that momentous. New limit break! Okay. New limit break. Clear Tranquil. What? Of course! Splendid! You have definitely improved! Oh ho, you might you might not be as much of a child as we as we thought you were. Of course, we lost to her. You have defeated four of our best, but now you'll have to face him. I guess I'll say it now. The people we have been going up against are references to people from theater. Chekhov? Yeah. Theater. Uh, I don't know all of their names off the top of my head. I'll put something on the screen right now. But yeah, these uh, Wutai Pagoda guys are based are based off of them, and their Japanese their Japanese text actually has like s specific styles that are specific to their works. But they got lost in the localization, so unfortunately we don't exactly have those. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna get rid of Sadness, because Sadness means that I take less damage. Alright, what is Yuffie's new limit break, which I believe is- Alright, we do have another level 1 limit break. Clear Tranquil restores HP of all allies, so I guess if we're out of MP we could use that? Anyways, moving on to the next room. Look who it is! That old man in that big old house. It's Goto. Yuffie's father. D dad I'm glad you made it this far, Yuffie. Why, why are you... I'll answer you by having you try your skills against me. Hold nothing back. Come as if you're trying to kill me. If you don't, then I'll have to kill you. Tough. I do have good luck, have fun written down in my notes. So, what are you doing? Omni change! And we got the actual boss music! Meet Yuffie's father, Goto, who looks like, who looks like that first boss from Majora's Mask. All right, he, I'm gonna start off by giving myself a freaking big guard. All right, he did use absorb, which, or absorb, I don't know what he just used, but absorb, like, 100 health, so that's not much. Alright, he... Th yeah, this guy's a jack-of-all-trades. He's got Beast Sword, which doesn't do much, actually. I'm gonna hit him... I'm gonna start hitting him with just a bunch of magic attacks, and eventually I'll just hit him with a magic hammer, and yeah, this guy carries Trine. So if you didn't... So if you didn't want to wait around for the Materia... To, for the Materia Keeper to use it, then you could have gotten Trine from, fright from fighting Goto in the Wutai Pagoda. Alright, this is going kind of smoothly. We're managing our HP very well, so I'm gonna... Oh, crap. Goto. No. He's just putting me to sleep. Okay, hit him with a magic hammer. Yeah, Goto is the king of annoying status effects. Even more than Chekhov is, because while well, Chekhov couldn't exactly do much, but Goto can actually do damage. A good, a good accessory to have equipped in between the fourth and fifth fights, or at least after Chekhov, would have been the White Cape, which is the accessory that you get from beating, um, from beating Genova Birth. Which I don't know what I don't know where it went for my case. I maybe I sold it, but. The only other places that you can get it are buying it from Gongaga and also buying it from a town that comes in really late game and I need to freaking heal right now. Demi 3, okay, yeah. Demi 3, that's fine. That can't kill me, so I'm gonna use Cure 2. And then I will just use another, another, uh, another big guard. Yeah, all of these Wutai Pagoda side quest battles, their primary focus, in my opinion, is HP management, because a lot of these enemies, you know, they can do a lot of damage and you only have one party member. 
So it's not like you can have other party members heal you for or anything. You gotta, you gotta deal with it yourself. And I guess also technically... Oh yeah, Goto can heal himself. I guess also technically MP management, because, um, you know, you're probably gonna be doing a lot of magic spells. And I guess it's kind of a good thing in that case where, um, where you get, um, what is it, Magic Hammer right outside of Wutai, which is pretty good for these battles because of obvious reasons. Alright, he seems to be just rapidly healing himself, and that doesn't have a big old text box, so that kind of scares me because that might not be related to an MP stat. So, he might be able to do that even if I fully drain him of all his MP. Alright, I'm going to really have to heal right now. Bio 2, that does a decent amount of damage. But I have healing too, so, you know. Alright, Demi 3, we live that because we kind of have to. It does 900 damage though, because Demi 3, I believe, takes out 3 quarters of someone's health. Alright, yeah, yeah, you can heal. Playing out the War of Attrition. We don't die to the Beast Sword, which is good, and I need to put up another big guard. See, these battles can take a while, just because, like, you know, they just do a lot of damage, and you gotta keep on managing your HP and putting up your end bar your barriers. And I will I don't even know what this battle would have gone like if you don't have. I mean, I don't know how you would even be this far in the side quest if you don't have access- well, you will have access to- I don't know how you would do this if you didn't have Big Guard on your characters. Alright. Um... Let's hit you with a, uh... Oh yeah! He has, um... Dodo has the, the power to inflict mini on you, which is actually the main reason why I recommend grabbing the white cape. But, uh, I guess since we're primarily focused on using magic attacks, it doesn't really matter too much since, I mean, you know, we're using magic attacks and not physical attacks, so we aren't going to be whipping those. Alright, we need another, we need another big guard. And, oh no, he's, he slept us. Alright. Well, we got the big guard up, so whenever he does decide to wake us up, then we can just put another big guard on us. We did do a counter-attack, but it only did one damage, so I guess unless he has a focus staff or something, then that's not gonna be... That's not gonna be of any use to us. So, let's hit him with another magic hammer, and he's just gonna put us back to sleep. This is a very annoying boss fight. I'm not gonna say... I'm not gonna say these are poorly designed. I just... I just, like, don't like fighting these boss fights, just because... I, I don't know. It's it's just kind of annoying how long these battles can go. All right, hit him with an aqua lung. I feel like the one of the worst parts about these fights are the fact that he are the fact that Godo can heal himself. I really should have brought my sense materia. You don't need to drain me. You can just heal yourself. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna need to put up a big guard. I didn't notice that. Big guard, that goes up. He's not doing enough damage to kill us, but we're not doing enough damage to do anything to him. Do I have anything else written down in my notes? Equip white cape, Goto uses try, good luck, have fun. Really? Alright, Aqualung. I guess it's a good thing I have sadness inflicted on me, because I would probably be... I don't know, maybe I would have been dead at this point if I didn't have that equipped on me. Oh, wait! Oh, that's it! Okay, okay, Goto is down. Thank God, that was tough. That was annoying. Alright, for our troubles, we get 5,000 experience points. That's pretty good. None of our materia get upgraded, though, unfortunately. And... We get an item called All Creation, and we also get 40,000 gil. All Creation is the thing that I'm really excited for, though. Oh, cute. 
Not bad. You've also improved. I'm sorry, I, I accidentally bumped my headphone cord and I was scared that it wouldn't be recording. Okay, anyways. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Aww. Is that a bird or laughter? I don't know. I can't tell. It's time I gave this to you, Yuffie. This is Leviathan Materia. Take it. Received the Leviathan Materia. But, Lord Godo, Leviathan Materia should only be given to the person who conquers and takes over this pagoda. It's our custom. Custom, custom, custom. I'm so sick of hearing that. It's so stupid. Silence, Miss Yuffie. Then what about all of you? With all your power? Are you satisfied being cooped up in this tower? Yuffie! You too, Dad. Just because you lost the war. You turned Wu Tai into a place like this. What do you mean? You turned Wu Tai into a cheesy resort town peddling to tourists. How dare you? Da Chao statue and Leviathan are ashamed. She is a kid. What did you say? Yuffie! Forgive me. It's all my fault. What are you saying, Lord Godo? Losing the war. Turning Wu Tai into this. It was all my fault. Lord Godo! Silence! Yuvi, I'm the same now as I was before I when I wanted war. But after losing, I began to think, is strength for beating enemies? Or just something to show off? Might begets might. Same as Shinra. I knew you were looking for materia for the good of Wu Tai, but the reason I hide my strength now is also for the good of Wu Tai. And now I realize both are necessary. Strength without determination means nothing, and determination without strength is equally useless. Lord Godo. You there. Please take Yuffie with you. I perceive that you all have both determination and strength. Well, just tell yourself. You're on a big ship. And leave the rest to old Sid. Alright, now I'll mind. Go! Yuffie! For the sake of Wu Tai! Dad. I'll take care of the five sacred gods until you return. Go! And come back alive! Duh! Ha ha ha! Uh, nice ending to, the, to this series of side quests. Yuffie, wait a minute. After the battle is over, do you think they'll still want all their materia? Dad! Go, fight till the end, but come back. With the materia. <laughs> you bet! And thus, Yuffie rejoins the party. All right, and that was the Wu Tai Pagoda and the primary focus for this episode. 
I hope that wasn't too, uh, wasn't too, uh, I hope I wasn't as bad as it, I seem. Okay, the Leviathan Materia is a water elemental, uh, summon materia, which, you know, it's a deity of Wutai, so that's pretty freaking cool, if I have to say. But, what about this, what about this all creation item? Learn limit skill, all creation. That's the same description as Cosmo Memory had. Remember I said we'll be getting to that much later. Now, while that was now the Wutai Pagoda, that was our primary objective for this episode. It was to conquer that. But what about the story of Wutai? What is this war that, uh... Oh, wait, there's another accessory here. Choke a feather, dexterity plus 10. All right. What about this war that we keep on hearing about? What exactly did Wutai go through in the past few years that turned it into a tourist destination? Well, it was expanded on in the in the seek in the prequels slash spin-offs, specifically Final Fantasy VII before Crisis, which is which takes place before Crisis Core, which takes place around the time around five years ago when cloud was when cloud was still in soldier don't play it now play it later there's a lot of plot stuff that you should watch this game for first all right so the Wu Tai war this was a war between the rebels of Wu Tai and the and the technologically advanced Shinra Corporation. It was a war of conflicting ideals of how the world should be run. The people from Utai were thinking of more traditional aspects of life, like magic and gods and materia, or not materia, of magic and gods. While the Shinra, of course, were thinking more about technology and Mako power. Eventually, uh, eventually, uh, well, you can tell that Wutai, Wutai didn't exactly win the war, so it was, it was turned into a tourist destination. You might have also noticed in our character bios, special symbols near a character's birthday. Let's just take Vincent for an example, who was born in 1950. But, when exactly does this game take place? This game takes place in what I like to say, New Egel 7. The symbols that I- that are on there are, well, you have in- in brackets, the Greek letter Mu, and- and Epsilon Gamma Lambda. E G L Eggle. This is how the date system worked, with year zero of new Eggle of the of the second era, I guess, being at the end of the Wu Tai War. This one being even earlier than the war than what was going on five years ago. And uh, yeah, that is that's kind of how the year system works. This game takes place. Well, it started off in December of in December of New Egel 7. So, yeah, that was about 7 years ago. And that's a little bit of elaboration on the world and lore of Final Fantasy 7 and the Shinra Corporation. And that is where I'm going to end off this episode. This was kind of a strange two episodes cuz we just did a lot of Wutai side questing. So, I hope this- I'm sorry if this episode was a little shorter, I don't know, maybe all my blunders padded out the episode's runtime. But yeah, next time, we're actually gonna get on with the story content, and let's chase after Sephiroth some more, and look at wherever the Temple of the Ancients is. See you guys then!